welcome all of you that are on social media, all of you that are on Facebook, Instagram, any other type of social media. I welcome you on this morning. Hallelujah to Liberty Temple Four Gospel Church and World Outreach Ministries. I thank you that there is no distance in prayer. Hallelujah. And we give your name the glory because we're praying for you as you listen. And pray for us as we minister. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and we give your name the glory. I'd also like to welcome all you here in the sanctuary. Give yourselves a hand. The Bible says that we shall not forsake the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, and so much the more as you see the day approaching, and the day is approaching, by the way. Hallelujah. And we give your name the glory, the honor, and the praise, oh God. Hallelujah. So i like to exhort all of you that pressed your way out on today and, and uh, that are here in the flesh on this morning in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I have a quick word. I'd like you to know how merciful God is. The word of God says, as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his mercy to them that fear him. Hallelujah. And we give your name the glory, the honor, and the praise in Jesus' name. Come on, praise the Lord, Liberty. God is worthy to be praised, and we honor the King of glory. Somebody just shout unto the Lord this morning. He's worthy to be praised. We bless the name of the Lord who is righteous and mighty and sovereign and faithful. Come on, let your witness be upon your lips. Release that in the room. You're marvelous. You're excellent. You're wonderful. You're the Lord of lords. You're my God and beside you there is none other come on liberty keep lifting up your witness if he's a healer somebody shout you are a healer you are my healer you are my deliverer you are the one who breaks through for me you go before me hallelujah you prepare the way hallelujah you set the way straight you open doors that no man can close and you even close those doors that no man can open we trust in the God of our salvation and we lean on no one else we lean on no one else but you we thank you for being our healer we thank you for being our way maker we thank you for being a miracle worker we thank you oh God for your faithfulness somebody continue to let your witness be upon your lips as we lift up the name of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah we lift up your holy name we lift up the name of Jesus we shout unto the Lord with the voice of triumph we are confident in the name of the Lord Jesus we're confident in who he is and we're confident in everything he has set in motion for our lives and for our days and if you're excited about Jesus this morning somebody put your hands together and live to praise
He said, know that this is a beacon on the hill. He said, know that my light shall shine. He said, I have not forgotten the foundation of love that put every brick, every place, every chair, every carpet, and every person in place. He said, and I shall honor what I have said in times past. He said, and they shall come from the north, the south, the east, and the west. He said, it shall be days like days of Azusa Street. He said, well, they shall see a fire, and the fire trucks shall come. But there shall be no fire but the Holy Spirit inside. He said, know that I love you with an everlasting love. He said, think it not strange. The fiery dots that have come your way. He said, but he that has an ear to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. He said, don't move. He said, be planted, flat-footed, planted by the river. Surrender your heart 
He's worthy. He's worth the sacrifice. He's worth your sacrifice. Ooh, he's worth not just answering your prayers. He's worth a life consecrated unto him. He's worth your sacrifice. It's really in worship where you can test the fruit of consecration. You're worthy. When we set our eyes on Jesus, we know you're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy. So angels bow before you, heaven and earth adore you, you're worthy. Angels bow before you, heaven and earth, liberty, sing it out, angels bow. Sing to Jesus, heaven and earth adore you, you're worthy. Angels bow before you, heaven, heaven and earth adore you, you're worthy. Angels bow before you, heaven, heaven and earth adore you. Angels bow, heaven and earth adore you. Now somebody lift up that word to Jesus right here through your worship. Lift up that word. Come on, he's worthy. He's worthy of it. He's worthy of it. He's worthy of it. Come on, Zion. He's worthy. Lord. Glory, glory. This is the day you've made, Lord, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Yes, it's testimony time. We need to get excited. What God has done for us, what God is doing for us, and we thank you, Father God. We give you glory. We thank you, Father God, for our apostles of this house. We give you glory for the saints and friends who committed to this house. It's testimony time. How many testimonies, sweetheart? Four. How many? Four. Give God the glory. 
four testimonies. Hey, babe, what does Psalm 66 and 16 say? Oh, come now. Let us testify. Let us tell of what God has done for our soul. Amen. Hallelujah. So let's tell what God has done for your soul, what he has done for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can Hallelujah. you praise the Lord with me? Hallelujah. Woo. I'm so grateful to God because he is so good. And I thank all my brothers and sisters for your prayers because I had uh, two procedures. I had an MRI because they had found some cysts on my liver and my spleen. And I also had a mammogram. So after those two procedures, everything came out fine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I thank God for your prayers. Hallelujah. Shall you satisfied? Go ahead. I receive. Trying to preach up here. Amen, amen. So this is my first testimony. <laughs> so giving honor to God, to the apostles, prophets, pastors, elders, saints, and friends, and guests. Did I do it right? I did it right? Okay, great. <laughs> lock it in. You so lock just it giving in. honor to God on today. I was um, involved in a car accident on March 7th on my way to prayer. And um, neither one of us was at fault. We were actually in both of each other's blind spots. And so I was coming into the intersection. A gentleman was flying through the intersection trying to beat the yellow light. And so my car got spin all the way around. And it was poles galore in the intersection. But thank God my car stopped before it got to the actual pole and stopped before the sidewalk. Um, I'm happy to say I, was, I walked away. I, had, I didn't have a concussion. Um, however, the the uh, rearview mirror ejected from my car window and it hit me in my head. So I had to get five staples put in. But thank thank God that I had got an MRI, all the CAT scan, everything came back negative. So I'm thanking God for life and life more abundantly on today. Amen. Amen. Divine protection. Thank you for your divine protection, Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. We all have a testimony. Everybody walked up, woke up this morning, got a testimony. Just because you woke up and you're breathing. But I thank God. The only reason why y'all see me coming in, I just give God all glory, honor, and praise. An extension even from Easter. On Easter, Apostle Denise and Apostle Vicki, we had praise together on that day. I didn't say it on that day, but I just want to say that. And then also, when I come every Sunday into service, a lot of times, a lot of people don't even know it's a young lady that's here that always pick me up and bring me no complaints. She'll park and say, take your time. You know what? You know I'm, You know my spirit is rushing to get here. But I just thank God because I know the anointing is in this house. I know my blessings is in this house. And I'm going to get up. I'm going to come. Um, hallelujah. I thank God for their mother and their father right now. I thank God for them, the Heavenly Father. I know the Heavenly Father. He had, they have raised their children, and we are seeing their prayers manifest. I give God all glory on and praise that we are witnesses to what he is doing in this house. And they're going they to grow in grace right now in the name of Jesus. I give God all glory on and praise that so we're going to bag them up and love on them. In yeah. Jesus' name, Amen. glory to God. I just want to say that. Glory, glory, glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. I give God glory, honor, and praise. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, glory. It's holy today. I want to thank God for his double, his double his double ties. Because by the double ties, he been double tied my contract with Baby Sweet Boutique. <laughs> I mean, he been doing the overflow. I started off doing one contract one day. Come to find out now I'm doing two. And I want to do, and I, somebody said they want a third one. I said, Lord Jesus, I don't think I could do a third one. But I just stick with the two. I've been doing a day and a night. But I give God glory and honor for the midnight prayer also. Yes, because yes, even yes. when I'm doing what I'm doing, Holy Spirit said, get on that midnight prayer. And I give God a glory and pray because he's given me the supernatural strength. It's not my strength. It's the Holy Ghost. Because I pray for you. got to watch what you pray for. Oh, oh. When you pray for, it's going to show up and show out. And that's what he's been doing. Glory be to God. Amen, amen. Thank you. Amen. 
Praise him. Go ahead, Pastor. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Giving honor to God, the apostles, um, all the saints gathered today, the, the, the ministers, the prophets, the pastors, the guests, the saints, everybody. Hallelujah. So um, I just wanted to thank God that I have been here at Liberty for 38 years. And I'll give God glory for that. And I also give God the glory that when people find out that I'm 70 years old, they tell me that I'm lying. But God has preserved me, and I want to give God the glory for that too. Hallelujah. All right. Glory, glory. Yeah, testimony, sweetheart. I just wanted to praise and thank God. We was reminiscing on the way here. I was thanking God that when he saved me, he gave me a he gave me a vision. I didn't even know it was a vision back then. But when he saved me, he took a big sponge and he cleaned me from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. So I just praise and thank God for salvation. He's a holy God and we are cleansed by his word. God bless you. Amen. All right, Elder Cross. Yes, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for all of our online viewers joining us, and thank you for everyone here in the sanctuary for coming out and joining us on second Sunday service. Yes, amen. All right, if you're our first time visitor, please raise your hand and receive a visitor's card. You're going to fill it out and place it in the offering bucket. If you are online, please email us at our new email address, info at libertytemplechicago.org, so we can stay in touch with you. If you would like to join our church at the end of service, please see me over in the singer section. <laughs> All right, online viewers who would like to join, please email your information to uh, the same place, our new email address, info at libertytemplechicago.org, and we will be in touch with you. If you want to join an auxiliary, uh, if you are a member and would like to join one of our auxiliaries, meet me again in this singer section, and we'll fill out an application together. Amen? All right. Our 40-day fast and prayer. You want to talk about this? Amen. Oh, you guys are sprightly this morning. Yes. Who's excited about the fast? Yeah. That's better than last week. It was just one person last week. And that was me. Um, but the, those of us who are fasting, this week we start vegetables. Vegetables all day long. You get a vegetable. You get a vegetable. You get a vegetable. You can cook them. You can bake them. You can fry them. You can, what'd you say? Look under your chair. There are vegetables. I'm joking. I'm joking. There are no vegetables under your chair. But we have fresh fruit after service for everyone and that section right over there. Yes. We're eating and we're doing protein, protein shakes. So please, please don't pass out at work. We cannot afford you to pass out. Um, so Black, thank you for that. So the prayer lines. Yes. Guys, we, we had a, I, I don't know the percentage, but we had, um, it went from 11 people per prayer line to 14 people per prayer line last week. Come on, give yourselves a hand. We're praying. Yes. If you were not one of those 14 people, I'm not going to ask you to raise your hand, but I am going to ask that you join us on the prayer lines. We have one, a line for you. There are eight of them. 3 a.m.ers. Who are the 3 a.m.ers? Yes. Yes, the 3 a.m. crew. Yes. Let's see the 6 a.m. crew. Okay. Yes, the 6 a.m. crew is here. The 9 a.m. crew. Woohoo! Yes. We listen while we're at work. Yes. <laughs> Fantastic. The 12 noon crew. Yes. We've been holding it down. And you can hold up your hands if you're going to join that line, too. The 12 noon crew. Let's see you. Yes. Yes. 3 p.m. Okay, I see some more hands. Okay, Pastor Ted, you're going to outdo all of us. He is going to be so powerful at the end of this 40-day fast. There's going to be a light shining from him. We're going to need glasses because the Holy Spirit is going to just illuminate the room. The 3 p.m. crew, let's see who that is. 3 p.m., just four people, just four, five, six, yes. Okay, Linda Hendricks, I see you. The, the nine, no, oh, I'm sorry, the 6 p.m. crew. 
You know what? There are, we're on five, five days a week, so fantastic. Even if it's sometimes perfect. Let's see that 9 p.m. crew. Six, well, we'll get to that. Yes, 9 p.m., 9 p.m., 9 p.m. Look at all these people who are praying. And then finally, because Sister Anita, Sister Juanita Baker just talked about it, the Midnight Crew. Yes, she's faithful. She's faithful. <laughs> Carol James, I hear you all the time. Yes, Rakai, I haven't heard you, but I saw you. You listen. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's per perfectly fine. You can listen in, too. We need your support. Your family needs your support. Your community needs your support. So please join us in the prayer line. Who does not have the prayer line number? I see one hand. I see two hands. I see three, four, five. All right, everybody take out your phones. We're going to give you this number real quick. We're going to give you this number so you will, not, you will not have an excuse when the Holy Spirit says, wake up to pray. I'm like, well, God, I don't have a number. So sorry. No, 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 no. We're giving it to you now. Are you ready? The number is 667-770-1507. Y'all need it again? Okay, one more time. 667-770-1507. When you dial in, they will ask you for an access code. Are you ready for that? What I do is I save the access code as the number so I never have to remember, okay? I know, I know. Executive level thinking, straight to the top. <laughs> access code is 132188. That is the access code. Anybody need it again? It's 132. 188. When you come on, just mute your phone so we don't hear all the background noise. And then, you know, jump in and pray. No heavy breathing, you know. If you start to snore, we will mute you. We've had to do it. It's okay. It's okay. Just come on. If you tie it, come on. We can we can handle you. We can handle you. So thank you all. And I'm gonna turn it over to Loretta Turner, who has a wonderful announcement about the caregivers ministry. Good morning. Good morning. If any of you are caring for a loved one and, and you're feeling overwhelmed, we have a workshop just for you. The Wellness Ministry is offering a workshop on Saturday, May the 4th from 1 to 3 p.m. You will learn how to overcome some of the challenges you have with your family, including how to listen better, how to distract them when they become difficult. There will be days when there will be like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, and you have to learn how to work with it. Also, you need to know how to take care of yourself as well so that you can be more effective and have more energy. And lastly, they're going to show you and give you some community resources to help you and to let you know that you are not alone in this. There are others that can reach out and help you help them. The cost of the workshop is free. The refreshments for the workshop is free. After the workshop, you will be invited by the instructors to a free class. What kind of class? Free, free class on Zoom with them. And those that complete the class will get a stipend of $100. Now, I know that some people have already taken it, Jennifer, and at that time, it was $200, but their, um, what do you call it? Their grant was not renewed, so now it's just $100. So, I hope to see you there. We are looking for all of you, or as many as can make it. Please come out. Thank you. Amen, amen. Man, with all of this fasting and praying and wellness, leads me right into the Healthy Church Challenge. Yes. Have you joined the Healthy Church Challenge yet? All right. We're in the midst of a 14-week journey becoming our healthiest selves. Challenge is about weight loss, but also about building healthy habits, feeling empowered, and getting our temples in order. 
Win big. There will be a cash prize for two winners of this challenge. One winner will be the greatest weight loss and the other will be the most calories burned according to the tracker that you will wear. Winners will be given a professional photo shoot to flaunt their amazing results. Amen. Transform your temple. Participants will do daily check-ins on GroupMe for extra support. We encourage you to reach your hydration goals, and we will encourage you uh, with other inspiring sweat pics as we document your hard work as you exercise, etc. And we will have healthy lunch pictures to be inspired to keep our fuel game strong. Now, we know we on vegetables this week, so no worries there. All right, elevate your spirit. We'll have weekly weigh-ins held in the TV studio after every Sunday service to celebrate our progress, share healthy tips, and feel the power of our amazing church community. All right, we are asking everyone who will participate to invest $25. It is not too late to join the challenge, right? So please do not miss out on this incredible opportunity to transform yourself and connect with your church family in a whole new way. Contact us at the end of service if you want to join. Amen. Yeah. All right. Uh, we are uh, celebrating the life of Charles Henry Anthony, uh, uh, the patriarch of the Anthony family, uh, tomorrow, Monday, April 15th. And that's going to be right here in the sanctuary from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Oh, Tuesday. I'm sorry. Tuesday. Read that wrong. Monday is the wake. Okay. The viewing. Okay, and that's at Golden Gate? Service is here on Tuesday. Amen. All right. Meeting and auxiliaries will be meeting after service for a maximum of 30 minutes today following service. All right. We are standing all over the sanctuary. For more worship. Amen. Can you just lift your hands and just declare he's worthy again? If you don't know by now, worthy is the thing tonight. So we want to give him the worth that is due him, the glory that is due his name. We join with heaven and worship him for everything, every creature, every beast in heaven recognize his worth. Revelation 5 says we were looking to see who was worthy to crack open the scroll and the one who was the lamb that was slain, the one who was slaughtered. The angels told him, hey, stop crying for there is one that is worthy and it is the lamb that was slain. And if you recognize the worth of Jesus in this room, just lift it up before him. He's worthy to crack open the scroll. He's worthy to declare and decree everything that is written concerning our life concerning God's will so we don't have to be in the in the uh what is it called in the in the blind spot at all because he's worthy of it so we join with heaven and sing all the saints and angels
liberty. Let's all sing unto the King of Glory together. You're worthy of it. You're worthy of it all.
mighty rain. Sheba harevero kosia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the Lord God Almighty reign. Come on, Liberty, let's sing it to the King all together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh.
Come on, this is your moment. Ooh, you are holy, you are worthy. Oh, 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 oh. You are holy. Come on, lift up your song of adoration. You are. up your hands continue to worship as we receive the prophet of this hour prophet Todd Armour come on continue your worship continue your worship keep worshiping keep worshiping where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. This young lady right here, come. Yes. Oh, baka sata. Oh, sha ba 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 ka. I heard the word of the Lord for you, and I heard the Lord say that this is a season of upgrade for you. I heard the Lord say that there will be no stagnation, there will be no blockages, but I heard the Lord say that the door has been opened for you and he has cleared the way and that you're able to walk directly into the purpose that he's given you for life. For surely God says your purpose is clear and your purpose is true and nothing shall deter your purpose. I heard the Lord say even the enemies that will come to try to deter you and knock you off track, God says I've removed them out of the way. So I heard the Lord say that you can proceed with caution and confidence into that which he's called you to do, said the Spirit of the Lord. Amen, amen. Sister Juanita. Yes, 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 yes. And the, the Lord will say to you, the reason you've been getting up at midnight to pray is because you're in a season of birthing. And I heard the Lord say that he's going to use you to birth a whole template of business. And that it's going to be a great success. And it's going to bring great, not just money to you, but it's like your influence is going to be broadened and widened. So I heard the Lord say, as you continue to pray, and as you continue to birth, and as you continue to push out this business template, I heard the Lord say that he's going to send the finances, he's going to send the funds, and he's going to send the help that you need to get everything organized and together so that it can be, begin to function. And by 2025, you're going to see great fruit of your labor and prayer, said the Spirit of the Lord. Amen. 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 Let me stop so I can preach. <laughs> but uh, I, I give glory and honor to God, to our apostles, uh, Apostle Clifford Jr., Apostle Delia, Apostle Vicky, and Apostle Denise. God bless you. I humbly give you honor today, and I honor all of the saints. I've known many of you all for the last 40 years. Amen. Bless you, bless you, bless you all. You may be seated. I'm not going to be before you long. I do have a word that the Lord gave me for you. Amen. Let me put my glasses on so I can see. I remember the first time I preached here, I didn't need no glasses or nothing. <laughs> Woo. All right. Psalms 141 and 1. Psalms 144 and 1. Yes. Blessed be the Lord my strength, which teacheth my hands to war and my fingers to fight. Amen. So I'm going to deal with this. Uh, I'm going to start on the sec from the second half of the scripture, and then I'll work up. So we do know that we are in a season of warfare. Yeah. Amen. And it's many things that are going on, uh, not just in the natural, but also in the spiritual. So as, as we're in a season of warfare, you have to understand that warfare brings transition. Amen. And warfare will cause you to have to adjust. Amen. So you have to understand that when you're going through a season of warfare, that God is going to lead you and guide you by his spirit to the place where you need to be in him so that you can fight, so that your fighting will not be in vain. Amen. So as we're in our season of prayer and fasting and we're warring and we're fighting, God wants you to know that he's seeing your prayers. He's seeing your fasting. 
Amen. Even though you don't, some of you all feel like that you, you have failed your fast. But God says there's no failures in him. Amen. So, but uh, God has been watching you. And he said today he's come to give you strength. Amen. He's anointed me to release strength unto his people today. That's my assignment today, to release, release strength to the people. So let's go to the first half of this scripture now. It says, uh, uh, read the first half for me, Michael. Psalms 144 and 1. Blessed be the Lord, my strength. My strength. Amen. So he's uh, first before anything, he acknowledges that God is his strength. And we have to acknowledge that God is our strength. Amen. And in the Hebrew, that word strength there is referring to a, a boulder on a cliff that you can stand on. Amen. So we have to understand that God is our sufficiency. He's our foundation. It's in him that we live and that we move and that we have our being. So as you stand, as you uh, fast and as you pray and as you war, know that God is your strength. He's able to hold you up. He's able to keep you, the scripture says, from falling. Amen. Then let's go to uh, 2 Corinthians 12. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9. 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians 12 and 9. Yes. And he said unto me, my grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. So as you go through your struggles, and we all have struggles, we all have struggles. If you say and you tell me you don't have struggles, I'm going to tell you you're a liar. Amen. We all have struggles. We all have things that we have to fight through. Amen. But God is our strength. Now, in the New Testament, the word strength is deutimus. So that's talking about God's power. So God's come today to give you power, amen, to give you strength, amen. If people that feel weak, you're not going to say that you feel weak. You know, some people put on a face of strength. They put on an aura of strength, but they're really weak. And when I say weak, I don't mean defeated. When I say weak, I mean sometimes you don't feel like fighting. Sometimes you, you just don't feel like dealing with it all. Amen. That's a moment of weakness. That, that's a time of weakness. But God is saying today he's coming to give you supernatural strength. He's coming to give you power over that thing. Amen. Anybody need some power? And I heard the Lord say, too, <clears throat> this is for you all. God gave me a vision. When your father first planted this church, there was a, a, a false apostle in Africa that was angry that this church was planted. And he's been sending, I saw spells and incantations being sent to this house from over the Atlantic, all the way from Africa. And I heard the Lord say, that's being cut off. Amen. Amen. And, and, and the tongue of that man is going to be tied in a knot. And he won't be able to speak those things. I heard the Lord say, as we pray, make sure we take authority over those spells and those incantations and command them to fall because we have power over them. Amen. The Lord told us to bless and curse not so we can release blessings and we can cast down curses. Amen. That's what we were taught and that's what we're going to do. Amen. This is a deliverance house. We're not afraid of the devil. We're not afraid of Satan. We cast out devils. We cast out cancers. We lay hands on the sick. We've seen them recover. We're going to see them keep recovering. We're going to keep casting out devils, and they're going to keep setting God's people free because that's what God raised this house up to do, and that's what we're going to do. Amen. So don't get it twisted. We may be in a transition. But we still got power. Amen. We still got authority. Amen. So don't call anyone trying to gossip. We don't want to hear gossip. 
We want to hear the truth of the word. We want to hear the power of God. Amen. We don't want to hear lies and deceits. Amen. And, and, and we also, when you're talking about warfare, you have to know who your enemy is. Now, we know in Ephesians 6, it says, our fight is not against flesh and blood. So our fight's not against flesh and blood. Amen. It's against principalities, powers, spiritual wickedness in heavenly places, and so on and so forth. So you have to know who your enemy is. And either you're on the enemy side, which is the devil, which is the devil, which is Satan, or you're on God's side. How you know you're on God's side? Are you saved? Do you know Jesus Christ and the pardon of your sins? Have you been washed in the blood? Amen. Have you asked God to be Lord over your life? Amen. If you've done all of that and you're in God's family, you're on God's side. It's only two sides. Okay. So if you're talking about God's people, if you're praying against God's people, you are in error, and that is charismatic witchcraft. We bind that too in this house. Amen. That's charismatic witchcraft. Our fight's not against flesh and blood. We love all God's people. We honor all God's people. Amen. So God's come today to release strength. To release strength. And I'm going to lay hands on all y'all. I'm going to be real hungry at the service. But I'm going to lay hands and I'm going to release strength. And we're going to allow the Holy Ghost to do what the Holy Ghost does. It's not about me. I'm just an instrument. I give all the glory to God. Amen. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No man can come unto the Father but by him. Amen. So before I do any of that, if you're here and you, you're not saved, you don't know Jesus in the pardon of your sins. Amen. And you might say, well, how would I know that? Do you, you feel a little uncomfortable now? <laughs> like you want to get up and run out the door <laughs> or whatever. Amen. That might be you. We want to ask you if you, would, if you would like to receive Jesus as your Savior. You can come up to the altar and we'll lead you to the Lord. Amen. Everybody here say, amen. We all had to come this way. I remember when I came up to this altar and got saved and Apostle Turner laid hands on me, I levitated up off the floor. I had never felt such power in my life. And I lifted off the floor and I was here with some friends and we had just came out from partying that night and came straight to church. And they were so scared. They was like, we didn't know what happened to you. We saw you lifting up and floating. I said, man, that's the best feeling I ever had in my life. I never had a drug like that. <laughs> Amen. So if everybody is saved, you still can come up after service if you like. But uh, if you need strength today, if you need strength, if, if, if you haven't been feeling like, like fighting and that's nothing against you, come up and God's going to release strength into you. Amen. Amen. Come up. Come up. Oh, thank you, Lord. Christian, can we have some strength and pardon music? <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We thank you for your people, God. We thank you for your strength, Lord. Sheba ba 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 kasa. Yes, God. You give us strength. Yes, Lord. You give us might. You give us strength. Can I have the uh, the oil? Father, we lift your people up before you. We thank you for strengthening. You give us might. You give us strength. 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 You
Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. Oh, ba, 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 you give us strength. Oh, ba, 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 Strength, strength. You give oh, nah, nah, nah. God comforts you today. You give us comfort. The Lord is our strength. Yeah. The Lord is our strength. It's the joy of the Lord shall be our strength. Yes, the joy of the Lord shall be our strength. Yes, the joy of the Lord shall be our strength. Yeah, you give us strength. You give us a might. We receive your strength. We receive your might, Lord. You give us strength. Yeah, you give us a might. We receive your strength. We receive your might. You give us strength. You give us might. You give us strength. We receive your strength. You give us strength. You give us strength. You give us might. You give us might. Give us strength. You give us might. You give us might. You give us strength. You give us strength. You give us might. You give us might. You give us strength. You receive your strength. You give us might. You give us strength. You give us strength. You give us might. You give us might. We receive your strength. You give us strength. We receive your strength. We receive your strength. We pray for the power of weariness off of her now in Jesus' name. We receive your strength. We receive your strength. You give oh, us strength. Ba, 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 ba. You give us strength. You give us strength. You give us strength. We receive your strength. We receive your strength. You give us strength. You give us strength. You give us might. You give us strength. You give us might. You give us strength. You give us might.
demonstrate your strength, God. Demonstrate your mind, Lord. Yes, strength, 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 strength. Demonstrate your power. Demonstrate your strength. Demonstrate your mind, Lord. Yes, strength, 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 strength. Demonstrate your power. Demonstrate your strength. Demonstrate your might.
Father, we release your fire upon this woman of God. And we thank you for healing. And we break generational curses, God. All over this house, we break generational curses. I go back a hundred generations on each side of the family. I break every generational curse. And I declare and I decree liberty. We release liberty. Mobility in the spirit. Liberty in the spirit. Liberty in the spirit. For where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Liberty, 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 liberty,
Fill me up, fill me up, fill me up, fill me up. 
receive by faith, by faith. We receive by faith, by faith. We receive by faith, by faith. We receive. You say by faith, by faith. We receive 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 by faith, by faith. We by faith, by faith, by faith. We receive 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 the overflow. God's going to begin to deal with you and show you the order in which he's doing things in this day concerning his churches, concerning the whole Christian community. There's a lack of order in the Christian community. But it's an order that you were taught and that you know. And God's going to take you back to that old landmark. And he's going to give you such a revelation and such an understanding of how things are supposed to flow. And what keeps things from flowing like they should. And the ears are going to be open and the hearts are going to be open to receive it from you. Because your heart is full of love and compassion, said the Spirit of the Lord. The prophetic landscape is so magnanimous, but God's going to begin to show you each level, each level of the prophetic, each level of the prophetic. I know he showed you, she's shown you dreams and visions. He's going to begin to show you the gift of, there's a gift that you have of interpretation. 
not just interpretation of dreams, but there's a universal gift of interpretation that God releases to some of his servants, and you so happen to be one. And he's going to begin to open things up to you, and you're going to be have, begin to have a greater understanding of how things operate and why they operate like they operate and where they operate at. God's going to give you such an understanding and a revelation of that. I heard the Lord say, get ready to begin to write. Not just books. These are not just books, though. These are like, we help. I, I don't even know the word. But they're, they're small books, but they're to help people, to like jumpstart them. You know what I'm talking about? Amen. So begin to write those. But I heard the Lord say, this healing is, is your portion. He's touching your body. And he's touching your heart at the same time. I see some hurts from childhood. It was so unbearable that you couldn't handle it, so you pushed it to the side. But I heard the Lord say, he's bringing healing to you. Wholeness and closure. And closure. Said the spirit of the Lord. You know what I'm talking about? Father, I lift, release your fire upon the woman of God. I know you don't want to hear this, but you got to preach. You got to prophesy. You got to preach and you got to prophesy because that's what God has called you to do. Amen. There's a calling on your life. That's why you're in the sequence that you're in. You're the oldest. Amen. Because your father's anointing has been resting upon you for the longest. And you've absorbed it even when you were a child. You absorbed your father's anointing. Oh, and I hear the Lord saying, I release that anointing from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. The anointing for miracles. Miracles. Your work miracles. Your speak them into existence. Miracles and signs and wonders will follow the words that come out of your mouth. The fire of God. There it is. You'll never be the same after the day. You will never be the same. Your eyes have been opened, saith the Spirit of the Lord. Your mouth has been opened, saith the Spirit of the Lord. Yekada, you're my vessel. Blessed art thou among women, amongst women. I release you today, saith God. Feel the weight of his glory. And that's the word of the Lord. We receive you, Jesus. We receive you, Jesus. We receive you, Jesus. We receive you, Jesus. We receive the weight of your glory. Come on, lift your hands in the room. Don't be distracted, but there's a great glory being released right here. Take up strength, said God. Take up courage, said God. I strengthen you today. 
Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Oh, I feel the power of God. Power. We don't come to play church here. Thank you, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We love 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 you, Lord. Because you're more than enough. You're more than enough. You're more than enough. You're more than enough, Lord. Oh, ba 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 shata. Hallelujah. If you can't take your seat, take your seat. We're going to prepare for the tithe and the double tithe. Hallelujah. So much more than yes, enough. Yes, yes. You're more than enough. So much more than enough. You're more than enough. Amen. Prepare to take you the tithe and the double tithe. Tithe and the double tithe. They're passing the envelopes out all over the building. Yes, God. You are more than enough. You're more than enough. You are more than enough. Oh, yes, you are. If you want to be a blessing and uh, give a liberty offering of $50, you can come. And if you're online, you can give as well. The ways to give are up on the screens on either side of me, and they should be up on your screen if you're viewing online. The Bible says give, and it shall be given unto you. Press down, shaking together and running over, shall men give unto your bosom. Amen. If you need an envelope, just raise your hand. Thank you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.
together for the mighty men of God, Todd Armour. Let's thank God for him. I love you, Todd. before we will be released. Uh, this is week three of the fast. This is day 14 of the fast, amen. How many of you are still fasting? Show of hands. Okay, that's majority. For the few of you that didn't raise your hand, it's not too late. You can still join. Amen, amen, amen. Um, healthy church, healthy church, wave your hands. All right, if you can meet us after church in the TV studio to your stage, right, we will appreciate that. And there was one more thing. Yes, tonight uh, at midnight, there will be prayer at midnight. So we would love for all of you all to join us for midnight prayer, all right? <sighs> if you desire prayer, please come down to the altar after the benediction. All right, and we, be and we will be sure to pray for you. One last thing. I was here on Thursday, man of my business as always, and the Holy Spirit said, go and um, write up a treasure map. So I did. And... Um, I have down here, actually, there's a lot of treasures in here. If you have on yellow, any hint of yellow, I want to personally pray for you. You can meet me over to your stage left. I will uh, definitely pray for you. And I'm going to show you here on this treasure map what I, what I mean by the treasure map. All right, can everyone rise? Let's get this benediction. It's 119. Okay, 119. Yes, you got time to go out and get some good lunch. Todd, I owe you lunch. Bless you. You, you going? Okay. I got you, Todd. <laughs> With every hand lifted. <laughs> Lord, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for this time. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for your presence. Heavenly Father, that is here. Heavenly Father, may the Lord bless you all and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you. Upon you. May he be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. As we depart from this holy place, let us carry the love of God in our hearts, spreading his joy and peace to all we meet. Amen. Go forth in faith and with God's blessing. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. You are, you all are released. I just want to 